Good evening. Welcome to Bible class. We're going to be studying lesson number 10 from unit 3 tonight and it's called Caretakers of God's Temple. Our scripture is going to be from 1 Corinthians, the verses 6, the chapter 6, the verses 19 to 20, Ephesians, the 5th chapter, verses 8 through 12. Then we're going to skip to verses 15 and 20. The life focus is make God honoring choices for your body. And let us bow for a word of prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for the wonderful gifts that you've given us. Father, thank you for the, all of the things that you've blessed us with through your Son, Jesus' name. Help us to make God honoring choices for our body. And it's in your name, it's in, son, it's in your son, Jesus' name that we pray. Amen. Now, what are some of the gifts that God has given us? Now, we always say, remember that God is the best gift giver it is. Can you name some? God has given us his son, Jesus. He's given us the Bible. He's given us shelter. What about the beautiful grass that you see? God has given us family. He's given us friends. Food. He's given us the air we breathe. We could go on and on and on about what God has given us. God gives the best gifts. Now what kind of gifts do we need? What do we need, I'm sorry, in order to enjoy the gifts that God has given us. We need our bodies to enjoy these gifts from God. Our bodies hold our souls and the life God has given us. We are living human beings. We have a soul, we have a mind, we have a spirit. Our body is definitely a gift. Our bodies hold our souls and the life that God has given us. We are living, breathing human beings. Our body is definitely a gift from God, whether we like it or not. Now we look at Ephesians 5, 8, and 12, 1 Corinthians 6, 19, and 20. In 1 Corinthians, is that in the Old Testament or the New Testament? 1 Corinthians is in the New Testament. Now do we know who wrote 1 Corinthians? The Bible said Paul wrote it to the church at Corinth. Now in Bible times, the temple was a special building that people met. It had a special purpose. They met for worship and honoring God. The temple was where all of God's people came together to be present, where God was present among his uh, people. God was there. When they gathered together, God was in the midst of them. The temple was also a place where people went to worship God. In 1 Corinthians, the 6th chapter, we read that the Christians are now God's temple. Our body is the temple of God. That means God dwells with us. He dwells in us. The Holy Spirit dwells within us. We are very special. Since Christians are now God's temple, that means that we have a special purpose. So what special purpose do we Christians have? The Holy Spirit lives in us that we say. The Holy Spirit helps us to worship God and to live for him. Now according to Ephesians 5 and 9, what fruit is important for keeping a strong temple for God? That fruit would be goodness, righteousness, and truth. Now grab your leaflets and you're going to turn to the activity for lesson 10, a deep dive. You're going to read the scriptures and you're going to answer the question. Now the first one says 1 Corinthians 16 and 19 and 20. Why should you honor God with your body? Christians are the temple of the Holy Spirit who lives in us and we are brought with a price. That means that we honor that, we honor our body. Now how would you sum up the verses 
since we are the temple of God's spirit, we should do God honoring activities with our bodies. That means that we shouldn't abuse our bodies. Uh, like Sister Brooks, I over ate for years and now I'm trying to lose weight because I want to be healthy. I want to be able to go and tell people about God, but I can't do that when I have aches and pains and I'm always tired. So to honor God, I have purpose that I'm going to start eating healthy. And I want you to pray that Sister Brooks keeps that promise that she honors God with. Uh, it says that you don't get drunk, you don't sing, and things that are not appropriate. How to do, we sing and make melody in our hearts to God because God made everything. God made us and he put his spirit in us. How would you sum up the verses again? Knowing that our body is where God's spirit lives should help us to make God honoring choices every day. So when I realize that my body is the temple of God, that means I have to treat my body better because if I don't, I'm not honoring God. Now the memory scripture is going to be again Psalms 119, 9 and 11. How can a young person stay on the road to purity by living according to your word? I have hid your word in my heart that I will not sin against you. So we make God honoring choices by the words we speak, by hiding God's word in our heart, so we won't sin against them. In the last activity, we have a rate meter. That means you're gonna rate all of these. You can rate them and decide which one is important. Why should we as Christians care about making God honoring choices for our bodies? As we read in the scripture, our body is where the Spirit of God lives. We belong to God. We were brought with a price. Who brought us and what price was paid? Jesus bought us. Remember, he bought us with his life when he died on the cross. Now, in the back of here, it says, wanna, but gonna. Now, there's a lot of things that I want to do, but they're not God honoring choices. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to choose to honor God. I want to listen to some music that's not good to listen to, but I'm not going to do that. I'm going to listen to music that honors God. I want to eat lots of junk food, which I've done over the years, and that's the reason why I'm overweight. So what I'm praying that I'm going to stop and I'm going to start eating healthy. So that means I'm going to stop being a couch potato. You're going to fill this out and then you're going to decide what you're going to do. Now there's a lot of things we want to do, but to be a worshiper of God and to make God honoring choices for our body, there's a lot of things that we're going to do. So you're going to write your answers, you're going to talk to God, and you're going to ask Him for help, because we all struggle. I struggle, you struggle, but God's Word is our strength. If we obey God and make God honoring choices, He's going to give us the strength to do it, even though it seems hard. So what we're going to do, we're going to bow and we're going to pray. Everybody bow with me. Dear God, thank you for sending your son Jesus. He paid the price with his life for us. We want to honor you with our bodies. Sometimes it's hard to do. Please help us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thanks for tuning in. God willing, we'll see you next week. Goodbye.